All right, YouTubers. Well, here's a brief synopsis of the Mavic Mini that you need to be aware of. Well, my, these are things I've learned in my purchase of buying a Mavic Mini and trying to get it to fly. Um, there are going to be hidden costs. You Be aware, you're buying an SD card. You should probably buy the Fly More kit, which is 100 bucks more, but well worth it. Um, you're going to probably buy some insurance for the thing, and you're going to buy an upgrade to your phone or a new phone if your phone will not use the DJI Fly app. You don't have to have a phone. You can buy a tablet. And, uh, yeah, there you go. So there's some potentially hidden expenses. Buyer beware. And uh, they have a DJI has a standalone kind of drone that doesn't need a phone. But I don't even think it works with the Mavic Mini. It works with their more expensive drones. So that's not an option. And there it is in brief. Hope you have a good day. Think carefully. By the time you add that all up, it's the same price as the Sky DO2. Look it up, and uh, which would follow you with it's a kind of like fly and forget kind of drone, and it doesn't have those problems. And so I, I believe I might have made a mistake in buying this Mavic Mini. We'll find out. Once I get it flying, I might fall in love with it and think it's the greatest thing ever. But it's definitely not plug and play, and there are definitely hidden costs. Anyhow, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Hope you have fun out there flying and see you up in the air. GoPro, stop recording.